Now our crop is finally starting to exert itself. It's within a week of maximum tillering, so it's, it's growing quite strongly now, and a lot of those gaps that we've had to live with for several weeks are finally starting to fill in, so we're feeling better. Uh, this week we're going to take the opportunity to talk about uh, what I would call the biotic influences on the crop and, and making an assessment of it. So that's how uh, animals, plants, funguses and viruses, how, how they're interacting with the crop, both beneficial and not beneficial. And I have with me here Nancy Castillo, who, uh, who is a specialist in assessing uh, rice crops for, for the biotic influences and the level of injury that's coming from it. And Nancy and I will, will step through the process of assessing the rice crop for insects, for, um, for weeds, for, and for diseases. for diseases, both from viruses and funguses. So uh, in we go. So next week what we intend to do is that we will be collecting data on injuries caused by animal pests. Animal pests uh, uh, refer to insect pests, snails, and rats. And then we will be also assessing injuries caused by diseases, um, viral diseases, bacterial diseases, and um, um, fungal diseases. And then we will be also uh, assessing uh, injuries caused by weeds. This is direct seeded rice. So we have here a quadrat, what we call as a, we call, we, we consider this some kind of a magic weapon. So this is equivalent to one heel in transplanted rice. So we, we would actually be sampling um, for, for diseases and insect, and, uh, and uh, insect injuries. We will be using um, 10 quadrats, we will be sampling from 10 quadrats. And then we would be also uh, taking, uh, um, we will be sampling weeds from three areas. Each area would be about one meter by one meter. So we would be assessing weeds relative to the height of the canopy. And we will be recording the type of weeds that we will find uh, next week. So we have a sweep net? Yes, this is a sweep net. We use this for uh, counting the flying insects. In this case, mainly green leaf hoppers. Uh, green leaf hopper is the vector of tungro. For the tapping method, we have this small uh, pan here with water. It has a little detergent, and we use it for counting uh, sucking insects, like uh, plant hoppers, white back plant hoppers, brown plant hoppers, and then other in in the surveys we do in other parts of the Philippines, we also ca catch rice bugs. Okay. Okay. Um, so, black bugs rather black so bugs. so with these these magic weapons <laughs> yeah, uh, magic next week weapons. when the crop reaches the stage of maximum tillering yeah. you'll make an assessment uh, according to our yeah. our data sheet and then again uh, in the reproductive stage in, in the grain filling and mature mature stage uh, we'll make another assessment that should give us a good idea of what biological things have done uh, both for and against our our rice crop as the crop gets into maximum tillering, it's, it's really doing its thing. The, the photosynthetic synthetic engine is really starting to power the rice crop along. Unfortunately, Akim, I and the local rodents are deepening our relationship and they've emerged and uh, are damaging the crop and you. So whilst most of the field is, is filling in nicely, we're still getting, getting gaps in the crop and those gaps do seem to be multiplying. Uh, we're doing our best to control the rats around the field at the moment as per our regular program here at Erie. But uh, these holes are irritating to say the least. So we'll go out and have a look at one of them. It's, it's complete damage. Eating the rice off at the ground completely killed the rice plant and rendered an area somewhere between half a square metre and a full square metre completely bare, or pretty well bare. They're quite selective, they didn't even eat the weeds, which was a bit, on, a bit annoying. Um, I can now appreciate how rodents can completely decimate a crop. Um, Grant described to me the typical pattern where they'll completely destroy the inside of a field and leave the borders intact, which is a good deceptive way to do your work. Um, I'm hoping we can stop the emergence of these new 
new bare areas from rats. We'll just have to work our hardest and uh, do our best. <laughs>